Do your makeup using items starting with what the step starts with. Example, foundation F. I would use my fingers to apply the foundation. This one is so creative. I love it. Okay, let's get right into this, starting with brows. Brows have a B, so I think I can just use a brush for them. Yeah. I'm just gonna use my brow brush, which I'm not really sure what has happened to this. <laughs> but this is quite a simple step because I do this every day, so we're just gonna zoom right through this one. Okay, so the next step is foundation, and I will be applying this with my fingers. Pray for me. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and blend it in. Guys, I don't know, I feel like this is just like a sensory thing for me. I don't like when my hands are messy. Like, I can't. I, I just can't. Foundation looks great though. Let's move on to concealer. Concealer starts with C, so I'm gonna use a cotton ball to apply it. It's applying the product great, but will it blend great? That is the question. It leaves a bit of residue. <laughs> what do we think, you guys? I think it looks really good. Okay, we are now moving on to setting powder, and that starts with an S, so I'm going to use a sponge to apply it. I won't lie, I can't really look at sponges the same. I saw someone on my For You page say that Pisces are like sponges. Why am I a sponge? What did I do to become a sponge? The sponge went off though. It set my face beautifully. Go off sponge. You know what? I'm happy to be a sponge because I killed it. Okay, it's time for contour. That starts with a C, so I'm going to use a cotton swab to apply and blend. This will look great if I continue to have the same patience that I have right now. I'm just blending it out a little bit more with a cotton ball, and it looks great, you guys. Go to part two to see the final look. 